Hey everybody, this is Miranda with Multiplicity Crafts, and welcome back. Yeah, a long time no see for me. I am sorry I just kind of went MIA there for a while. I did try to update on the community tab that I was out, but I never really did make a follow-up video. So, where have I been? Hmm, well, let me tell you about my 2023. So, this is definitely not a sob story in order to get pity or sympathy. I am just telling you where I've been <laughs> and kind of why I've been absent a lot and kind of sparse on videos. So starting in January of 2023 um, through March, my husband had lost his job. And so we were really having a hard time financially. It even got to the point where we had to visit a food bank and... It started to get pretty tight. Um, so yeah, that was definitely a trial that we went through. But thank the good Lord, uh, he provided a, a job for my husband, um, a very good job. So that was a blessing. He began his new job in March. And so we were very fortunate to have had that. So then in March, of course, uh, my husband's birthday, my birthday, my mom's birthday is in March, so kind of busy there. My parents' anniversary, and then uh, my husband and I, we went through kind of a personal trial in that particular month, and so that was really a trying month for us. I also had to go to the ER in an ambulance, but I just thought something was abnormal there, and so I needed to get that checked out because it was very abnormal, let's just say. And so the following month, April, I tested positive for COVID for the second time. And thankfully, this time wasn't nearly what it was the first time. And so I got through that in April. And then in May, my dad was in the hospital and had a lot of trying health issues as well. And June, I'm like, okay, we're ready for some good news. Come on, June. June is my month. Nope. I still had kind of a rough month. June was actually quite hard. In the month of June, I got a pretty bad dog bite. It was not necessarily a big dog or a big bite, but it was very deep and it still is not healed all these months later. But the worst part of June was we had a severe windstorm it was equivalent, they said, to an F2, I believe, tornado. And we had 100 mile an hour winds. We lost some limbs, but then the tree across the street, it fell completely over, it blocked the street. There were trees down, power lines down, internet lines down everywhere across the entire city and even outer cities. And our electricity went off in the big middle of a heat wave. And so we all scurried to find the nearest hotel that was available. Even amidst the hardness of it all, there was a tremendous blessing. We tried to stay in the heat for a little bit and it was just unbearable. And it was making me physically feel just very sick because of my health issues and my heart issues. I just couldn't stand it. We even went so far as to put my little girl swimming pool in the living room floor and just let her sit in that to stay cool. It was just awful, awful, awful to not have electric in the middle of a heat wave in Oklahoma. Ah, <sighs> so we made it through that. So now we're halfway through the year and July. I was unwell for about a week. I had a flare up of one of my chronic illnesses. It's called mast cell activation syndrome. I also was having a lot of migraines uh, that particular month, um, but it was a good month overall because it was my little girl's fourth birthday party. So she, we had that, she had a really good time. And it was also the 4th of July. So we went and watched fireworks and everything. And I was busy the rest of that month with everything. So I didn't get to film in July. And now August is beginning, and I'm going to begin homeschooling um, just a couple days a week, preschool for my little girl. 
And then also my daughter will start tap dance class in August. So I'm definitely busy this month as well. So September, October, November, and December, we're looking into holiday months of Thanksgiving, Christmas, things of that nature. So I'll probably be busy. And then I'm starting the homeschool and the tap and everything with my daughter. So <laughs> I am just not sure. I'm thinking about filming something probably in those fall winter months but I'm not exactly sure what. I don't really want to close my channel because I have met so many wonderful people and I enjoy crafting still. It's just that my life looks a little bit different now and it just feels like maybe I'm kind of in a different chapter to a degree. Not sure. So Bear with me as I'm kind of praying through this, somewhat undecided, and trying to move forward to decide the way we want to go. So I just wanted to hop on here and give you guys an update. I'm sorry this was a little bit wordy. It was a little bit long, but for those of you that were interested, that is the situation. Anyway, let me know in the comments what you've been crafting on. Let me know how your year has been. Hopefully your 2023 has been better. <laughs> better than mine. I'm thinking I got all the bad stuff out of the way first. I'm hoping the rest of the year can be great. So here's to that. Thank you so much and I hope you have a wonderful blessed day.